Welcome to the Saints TV. I'm your host, Louis Endler, and today we are at the St. Andrews Cathedral to witness the Prefect's commendation. Now, it is extremely busy in the St. Andrews Cathedral while everybody prepares for the Prefect's commendation. Now, we will talk to several students about their opinions of the Prefect's commendation. Now, we have Isaac from Class GSB. Um, Isaac, how do you feel, do you respect these Prefects? Yes, yes, I do. Why? Because they are awesome. We are here now with two teachers from uh, St. Andrew Secondary School. Um, how, do you, uh, how, how do you, how do the prefects help maintain discipline in class? They're good role models for the students. They set precedence on what behavior is accepted and not accepted in the class. They also act as uh, police uh, to kind of keep the class in control. Miss Shantini? What's your question again? What's your question again? Uh, yes, they do. Um, like she said, they are role models. They do their work. They set the benchmark, and that is supposed to follow them. Are you thankful that we have prefects in our school to help out with discipline? Most definitely. Yes. Thanks, ma'am. Think the prefects do a good job in maintaining discipline in class. Uh, yes, they definitely do. Yes, I have observed them. How? How? Um, they like keep the class quiet when the class is coming rowdy. They always say settle down and all that stuff. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm here with Mr. Jean. Uh, Mr. Jean, yes. how do the prefects help in maintaining discipline in class? Uh, I think they take the initiative uh, when there are issues, and um, they they and I think that they know that they can solve it by themselves instead of waiting for me to settle it. Uh, what they do is that they go forward and. Um, they try and settle it at their level, the students' level, uh, so it prevents the the problem from escalating. Are you proud of these prefects? I am indeed. Uh, I respect the prefects of our school. I think they are doing a service uh, not only for uh, the teachers but to the school and to their fellow students. So you are thankful for uh, for the prefects? I actually am very thankful. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Jean. Now let's head over to the cathedral as the ceremony is about to begin. The ceremony begins with the prefects entering the cathedral, singing the hymn, Through the Night of Doubt and Sorrow. They are being led by the cross-bearer, Samuel Tan. The audience comprises of Sec 3 students, members of the prefect's families, staff, and invited guests from other schools. Prefects then take their place in front of the audience at the altar. <laughs> Following behind them is school principal, Mrs. Lucito. Vice Principals Mr. Goh and Ms. Jesslyn, Student Government Teachers Mr. Kenny Liu and Mr. Kevin Lun, Discipline Master Mr. Jimmy Ko, Guest Speaker Mr. Dennis Tan, and Bishop Venice. The first prefect commanded is the school captain, Joe Tam Teo. After the commendation of the captain of the school, the senior prefects are then commended. 
God received this badge and buried in the service of God in God's school. Starting the service, Mr. Dennis Tan talks about the role of the prefect. Mr. Dennis Tan studied in St. Andrew's School from 1967 to 1976 and was commissioned as a prefect in 1976. The boy hesitated, then read, I think the seven wonders of the world are to see, to hear, to touch, to taste, to feel, to laugh, and to love. The room was filled with silence. Solitude before God enables us to grow in knowledge of God and grow in intimacy with God. Knowing that we serve a great God enables faith to arise. When we spend time with God alone, we are renewed and energized. Our mind is decluttered from negative thoughts and our mind is renewed. Quietness and sudden meditation are good for the soul and spirit. You, the prefects, have been called to serve in the St. Andrews Secondary School community. And as prefects, you also have the responsibility to be role models for your fellow students. And like the fathers of the show Courageous, I believe that humility before God will empower you to serve and empower you to be role models for the student body. The final step is service. Ministry to the people we are called to serve. For each of you prefects, the St. Andrews Secondary School community is where you are placed to serve. How then do you serve? Well, most importantly, I think we all need to serve with a heart. Too often, we underestimate the power of a touch, a smile, a kind word, a listening ear, an honest compliment, or the smallest act of hearing or caring, all of which have the potential to turn a life around. I pray that every day each of you will be reminded to commit your life to God as you serve as prefects in your school community. May you follow the example of Jesus, starting each day in communion with God, then gathering together in communion to spur and encourage one another. After his speech, the prefects are commanded by Bishop Venice. Adrian received this badge and wear it the service of God at our school. Receive this badge and wear it in the service of God in a bar school. After the commendations, the congregation proceeds to sing the hymn Take My Life and the School Hymn. After the hymn, the prefects come together to pray and to seek blessings from the Lord. Let us pray for these young men and for the school. Our great God and Father, we thank you for the gift of these young men. And as they take up this new responsibility, we pray that they might know your strength, they might be fair in the way that they treat others, and they might be filled with your self-giving love. We ask God that you would bless them with good success, you will bless them with 
one anotherness as they help each other. And that through them, your glory will be seen in our school. We come together to offer our lives to you. Bless us to be a blessing. Make us a community of servant leaders who bring light to the nations we come from. To give and not to count the cross, to fight and not to be in the woods, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to look for any more. Save that from knowing that we do not have Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now receive the blessing of God. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon us and grant us love, joy, peace, and all the Father's good gifts to light our way and make us a blessing to others. In Jesus' name, Amen. After the prayer, the prefects walk out of the cathedral to the hymn, To Jesus I Have Promised. This signifies the beginning of the tenure as prefects of the school and the end of their journey as junior leaders. The prefects end their service with a prayer led by Bishop Venice. And you are building us, and you are building your church, and you are building your school. We exist to make you great. Lord, be blessed, we thank you, and receive this day to celebrate it to our In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. I'm now with another student from St. Andrew's Secondary School. Um, do you look up to the prefects and why? Uh, I don't because they are not really that special, but I think they are quite, it's quite an achievement to be a prefect actually. Proud to be serving the school? Yes, I am. Are you, uh, what are your duties as a prefect? My duties is to uphold the values of responsibility and integrity and to basically lead my team forward. Thank you, James. I'm here with a new secretary prefect, Daniel. Daniel, are you proud to be a prefect? Yes. Yes. What are your duties as a prefect? Uh, to serve the school. Are you set? Uh, are you happy with uh, serving uh, in a position to serve the school? Uh, yes. What's the question? <laughs> are you happy to be serving the school as a prefect? Uh, yes, very happy. We have come to the end of the prefect's commendation. We hope the prefects will wear their author new authority with pride and honor. We hope you have enjoyed this video, and may the peace of the Lord be always with you, saints. Mm -hmm.